Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this video you will learn what is DOM or Document Object Model. So if you are a beginner in web development, then this video is for you. Also make sure that you watch this video until the end, because I will share my bonus tip of working with DOM elements. Let's jump right into it. And a lot of people think that DOM is something scary, and actually you can get this question really often on interviews, like what is DOM, how it is working, and so on. Actually DOM is super simple, so DOM is the representation of our web page, which actually means every single page in internet has DOM, and it is built for us automatically. Let's check on the example. Actually here I have an empty index.html page, and inside we can write some styles. So let's write super small example of index.html page. So normally we are writing here html tag, then inside we have our head, then we close here our head, then we have after head body, let's close here body, and inside we can write for example h1 tag, and here we write for example dom. Now inside head we can for example set a title of the page. So here I am adding title tag, and here we can write what is DOM. So actually we wrote a markup for our page. The main point is that we are naming it markup, but actually when we are opening it in browser and we reload the page, we are getting DOM. Which actually means that browser just takes our markup that we wrote here, and then at the moment when we are loading the page, it transforms this markup inside DOM, so document object model representation of our markup. So actually DOM is just a document that browser builds in order to understand and store our markup correctly. Now the question is why it is called document object model, why it is so complicated. So we already know document is the representation of our markup. The next part that we have here is our tags. So actually tags for browser is just objects inside these documents. And this representation, this nesting that we are writing here, like for example HTML head title, this is our model, which actually means that model is the representation of our tags and their nesting inside our document. This is why it is document object model. And actually, to make things even more complicated, we have one more naming of the same thing. So actually here we have our tags, and now we know that inside our document they are calling objects. But they are also being called nodes. So our tags, then objects of the document and nodes are exactly the same thing. The next important point is that we have different types of our nodes or document objects. For example, when we are writing just our elements like head, title, body, h1, this is just elements, so node elements. But we also have node text. For example, this DOM text is actually a node. This is text node because we are storing inside text. Also, there is a type comment node, which means we are storing inside comments. And actually, when we open the browser, and we can open here with inspect developer tools, there is our list of elements. So I can make it bigger, as you can see, this is our markup, we have here HTML, then head, here is body, we can open here and see our markup. But the point is that Chrome simplifies for us markup. This is why here we simply see the list of tags like it was in our editor. So actually we don't see the nodes like they are inside DOM. But here is a really nice website where we can check this. As you can see here, I opened the tab. This is live DOM viewer. You can go to this URL if you want. And the main purpose is that if we will write our markup here, then we will see exactly the DOM representation. This is why I want to copy paste everything that we wrote and paste here. And as you can see, this is our markup and this is our DOM tree. As you can see here, we have first HTML head, and then here you can see that we have node text, because this hash means that this is a node. And actually this text even doesn't have anything inside, so this is this place. This is just a new line here. Then we have title, and as you can see this is an element, so node element. Then we have also inside again text, and this is what is DOM. And actually here inside body I can even write some comment, for example, here let's type a comment, foo, and I will close our comment. 
And now, as you can see, after each one tag, we have here a node comment, which actually means this is the exact representation of our DOM tree, how it is functioning inside browser. But the structure is just for you to know. Normally, when we are working, we want to see the easy and simple representation of our DOM tree. This is why here we see the exact representation like inside our markup. The next question is how we can work with DOM at all. And we can easily access DOM and make whatever we want with it inside JavaScript. For example, we can read some properties from the DOM, we can change it, create new parts and so on. For this I will jump here inside console and here we have access to our DOM when we are writing Word document. And as you can see here I can open it and we see our markup. So actually this is our document of our page. And now here we can access a lot of properties as you can see here. For example, we can write here title and then we are getting the title of our document. And we can save it inside the variable and use later for example. We can also access here for example body if we want only to work with body. And this is really handy. Now let's say that we want to change the color of our document completely. And for this we can write here document.body and as you can see this is our body so the whole page. Now we can write here dot style and as you can see inside style we have a lot of CSS declarations. And now we can create new. For example we can say dot background and here equals red. And as you can see now our page is red which actually means we can easily access DOM properties inside JavaScript and use them for our benefits. And now here is my bonus tip, which is really awesome for debugging purposes. Actually, when we are selecting something here inside elements, every time when we select the element, it is saved in special property for our debugging purposes. For example, here I clicked on our H1 tag, which actually means after I clicked, Chrome already saved this reference to this DOM element inside special property. Now here I can hit escape and this will open the console. Let's make our console bigger and maybe the window also bigger. Now we have access to this property when we are writing dollar zero. And as you can see, I'm hitting enter and here is the reference to our DOM element. And this is extremely handy when you really want to just debug some DOM element and you don't want really to select it somehow difficult, you can simply click on this DOM element, open console here and then write $0. And now you can do with this DOM element whatever you want. So actually I hear the question what is DOM and how it is working on interviews like hundreds of times. And now you for sure have enough knowledge to answer this question. Also, if you want to improve your programming skills, I have a lot of advanced courses regarding different web technologies. And I will link them down in the description box below, so don't forget to check them out. And if you like this video and you want more content like this, don't forget to put thumbs up to support me and subscribe to the channel. And as always, happy coding!